Hello, today we're taking a look at AVS Video Editor. This is a video editor that you can use to trim videos, cut them, split them, merge them, rotate and mix at your leisure. Now keep in mind, this editing software is not suitable for that of professional needs or expert video editors, but very ideal for a beginner or an average user just looking to make a home movie or what have you. So taking a look at the software here, let's go ahead and minimize the website. You can see we have the AVS Video Editor here. And let me go ahead and adjust the size here so you can just see it a little bit better here. So it features a full on timeline here and, and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up just a little bit so you can see more. Uh, so basically you get to select the source for your new project. Basically this means that you're gonna import video files or audio files. You can capture it from a camcorder and or capture the screen using recording desktop. Uh, you can record the desktop and get programs if you're doing tutorials or those sort of things. You can of course create a blank project, opening existing projects or save the current one. So I have a video here that I wanna import. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in. You can see here it's gonna ask me if I wanna keep the aspect ratio. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. So basically this is what the timeline looks like just to navigate around the interface a bit. At the top here, you have the file to start new projects, save them, import, or export the video. You, of course, have the edit ability. Here is to do undo, redo, uh, stabilization, split frames, freeze frames, or split clips. Uh, for the view, you can adjust it here. So you can adjust your UI and, of course, your help menu to get any info on tips, etc. here. So again, this is just the main interface. I'm going to pull down just a little bit more here so you get an overview of everything at the top here, your usual buttons here. You have your, uh, basically it just shows all your clip media here. So everything that you've imported, whether it's video, images, or audio, you can see the folders here. You have some sample clips in here that they include so you can use some of these things. You can use backgrounds. And basically the timeline system works as so. You can just drag anything in the timeline. You can rearrange your interface down below here. And basically you can drag things around, cut them, clip them. Now at the bottom here, or in the middle I should say, you have the ability to look at your projects, your media library, your transitions. So this shows you your basic transitions here to transition between two clips. You have video effects built in. Let me go ahead and close these tips right here. So you can add things like snow, grid, mosaic. And if you click on these, what's cool is it shows you a preview of each of them so you know all the effects here. Under text, you have the ability to add text. They have a lot of different ones here, so you can get customizable here and add your own text. In each of these, they have different folders for simple ones, animated ones, etc. And you have the ability to record your own voice over said video. So you can record voice via a microphone here, and you can create a disc menu if you're creating something such as a DVD, etc. And last but not least, you have the ability to produce it once you're all done or AKA export it. So under your timeline here, you have the ability to cut clips, all of which have a keyboard shortcuts. So for example, you can trim clips, you can do speeding up clips or slowing down. You can adjust color correction windows. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, you have audio uh, correction, stabilization if you have kind of a shaky camera, and as well as other things like zooming into the timeline and readjusting your view here to get a closer or more outer view of your clips. The top right indicates your preview window. You can play pause, stop, rewind, your video is all here. You can even take snapshots of the current video frame. And of course, you can easily just navigate around your video itself down below using the scrubber on the timeline here. So it's a really easy use to use a video editor. Again, it packs in a lot of features while still uh, being very, very simple to use if you've never really navigated around professional video software. Well, this is really great for, again, that average user or beginner. You can really make some high quality, high def videos all through the simple to use interface. And if you click on the link down below to try it or uh, try for free or buy it, you get a $30 off for one year license. Additionally, for $40 and or $60 for unlimited licenses, you get the 16 AVS for you tools completely free. And of course, 30 day money back guarantee as well. Definitely worth checking out guys. This is AVS Video Editor.